What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to another player review. Today we're taking a look at the Real Madrid legends. A lot of people have been asking me for these. And I have bad news for you, lads. I just don't think that these guys are worth it. I'll be honest with you. We're going to see why in a minute. Look, if Raul is one of your favourite players of all time, yeah. If Xabi Alonso is, he's one of my favourite players, I would love to get him. But he's not going to get into my midfield of Makalele, Goretzka, uh, Pedri, Vieira. Like, he's just not going to get in there and disrupt that kind of, like, four-man where I have, you know, interlink play between them. I've got a really good balance. And then I obviously have De Bruyne. I've got Cruz. He's not going to really offer an, enough for them. And I'm going to show you an alternative to Xabi Alonso, which will open your eyes to the standard players a little bit more as well. Because a lot of people have been asking me to go into the standard players compared to the players you buy with coins and whatever. Van der Vaart as well. Again, unless you're a big fan of this player, I think that he's kind of a skip for me. That's just personally my opinion. But Raul, right, lads, right? Raul, on the surface, has got really weird stats, right? And we're going to go in here to his actual player over on uh, eFootballDB.com, right? So we are having maxed out here. So this is him maxed out, and he maxes out at 90 offensive awareness, 90 finishing, 83 balance, 80 stamina, 80 possession game we have for his play style, and 82 acceleration with 73 speed. So on the surface there, lads, he has got incredible stats, right? Incredible stats. He's also got unwavering form. He's also got cut behind and turn, heading, dipping shot, rising shot, acrobatic finish, first time shot, long range curler and chip shot control. So the finesse shots like Neymar style, the first time chip shots, the first time acrobatic finishing, everything is there. He's got a, he's, he's a very, very strange, unique player. And as I've said a few times before, my Dream Team Chronicles, if you have come up against Raul, you've probably struggled to contain him because he has that kind of unique play style where he's not an outright speed an outright speed merchant, so you're not going to be really afraid of his pace. But it's more about his pace when he has the ball uh, in that little pocket of space. He's kind of like Iniesta, that it's not like stat space. If you mean if you if that makes sense or attributes pace, it's more about when he gets space. That's a lot of pace and space that I'm saying here. Sorry, boys and girls. But he, when he gets the ball in that certain area, because of the way he plays, he's just always in that right area where if you play him in a 4-3-3 with three central um, center forwards or SS and then a center forward off him or him off a center forward, he can cause havoc. And I've come up against Mbappe, Son, Romanegi, Eto, Drogba, and Raul has probably given me my most hassle when I've come up against him. I've really had to watch him. He's always scored goals against me. So as I said, right, when we go over to eFootballDB.com, this is what I'm talking about when we talk about the standard players. Look how he levels up, right? He's got an incredible couple of stats here. 90 offensive awareness, 90 finishing, 83 balance, 80 stamina, 82 ball control, 80 dribbling, and 82 acceleration, right? A player in his similar position to him is Dybala, right? So Dybala has similar stats. He's got the same kind of like pace and that, but look at the difference in his shooting, 81 and 82. So Dybala is more of like an AMF. So it's very hard to get that SS with that is a top class finisher. You know what I mean? Like you'd have to go to Messi or, or Salah or someone like that, which are very pricey. Suarez is an interesting one, right? Because he's similarly paced to Raul, right? 73 and 82, uh, Suarez is 69 and 74 but we have him maxed up here with the shooting so we can take that shooting back a little bit and just give him a little bit more pace here uh, to bring it up to 71 and 74 now obviously there's a huge discrepancy there between his 71 or between his 82 acceleration and his 74 but when you actually play them in the formation the way you're going to be playing them they don't have much to sprint they're not going to be a, your Mbappes or your Sons or your Romaneggis where you're going to be getting the ball or your Mario's as your one-man army up front leading the line in the air from crosses from dribbles from 1v1s from touching goals from triangles from you know ping pong passing um Suarez is going to have a very unique skills skills blah, 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 skill set he's going to be like Liam Neeson and Taken he's going to have a very specific purpose when you are playing him right it's kind of like Haaland He's 180,000 GP as well, which I think is worth a punt. But as I said, lads, Raul is definitely the pick of this of this bunch. I think he's absolutely incredible. So we will leave the best to last, but we are going to cover Van der Vaart second. And Van der Vaart, again, he doesn't really excite me at all. We've got 16 progression points to mess around with here. And again, if you are going to be leading the line with a CMF or an AMF, 
you do need to have a little bit of pace about you. You know, he does have incredible stats with the dribbling, but he's only going to get to an 89 overall player um, as an AMF. I don't think he really really excels in any position when you compare him to Andres Iniesta who maxed out here as a 90 overall so he's actually better he's only 76,000 GP lads and if you haven't tried Iniesta he is absolutely insane in the game look at these stats 95 ball control 91 dribble and 92 tight possession 95 low pass 92 loft to pass 93 balance Good luck getting getting the ball off Iniesta, lads, right? And even at that, if we want to just tra change how Iniesta plays, right? And we want to make him kind of prime Iniesta. We don't even really need to have his passing that high. You know, we can put the passing at the low passing down to 90. We'll have 13 points left to, to use there that we can pump into his dexterity, bring that up to 75. And then we can also put in his dribbling. We can bring that to 96, 92, and 93. And then we can pump in another one as well into lower body and then just throw one for his possession game to max him out. He is an 89 overall player, but he's probably just, again, a very Liam Neeson type of player, very specific purpose that he's just solidly built for that exact position as an AMF. So that would be my recommendation for him if you want to buy a standard player instead of spinning for Van der Vaart and taking a chance. Now, last but not least, we have Xavi Alonso, who again is an incredible player he's got some really nice stats he's got 18 progression points 80 possession game is his play style so we don't really need to touch that if you are if you have quick counter you'll need to up it um but his other ones are 70 long ball 60 out wide so you probably will need to improve that but strictly speaking for his card he's got 18 progression points his speed lies is just way too low it's way too low now when we do max him out right and i will max him out here for you at 70 64 there his passing doesn't need to be touched. I mean, that base passing rate is, or that passing stats are just incredible. But his dribbling, bring that up to 78 for his tight possession. That'll help, you know, retain possession when he does get it. He'll kind of operate like, you know, a kind of a CMF type player on the ball, like a Modric or someone. Passing doesn't need to be touched. Shooting doesn't need to be touched. I would probably look at maybe turning him into a defender type player and bring that up to 90, his defensive engagement. So he offers a different type of, of experience than if you're playing with a Makalele or a box-to-box -box type uh, dominator like uh, Willen Barrios or, uh, you know, Kante or um, I don't know who else people are using at the moment, Vieira, any of those like top tier guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, his pace is probably the biggest problem there, 63 and 64. Now, when we have a look at Tenali, Tenali is maxed out here, right? Obviously, we are going to be taking a couple of considerations here in. So we've got, like, we're going to bring this back down just to, like, maybe here. So he still has 88 low pass and 87 lofted pass, which, again, isn't comparable to Jabi Lanza, but it's not miles away. It's not miles away from where you want to put him. But we also do have 16 progression points here with very similar ball control and very, or dribbling and very similar type possession. I'm not worried about the ball control too much here. We can up it in a second and maybe give him a couple of points here to bring it up to like 77. That's okay. His low pass and his lofted pass are fine with his player stats and his player skills. And then again, we can actually pump this up into his defending to bring that up to 80 defensive awareness. And then we can pop one into dribbling or else dexterity, depending on how we want to operate there. And one into aerial strength, you're going to have an 89 overall player. So while Alonso has got a better overall rating, I think for the way that the game is playing at the moment, Tenali is your better option for an anchorman. He's only 64,000 GP as well. But again, Jabi Alonso is a beast as well. So that is it for me, lads. Let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip this week with the Legends. And uh, we'll be back quite soon. Check out the other one and check out the option file as well that we have out. It's a new season for PES 2021. We'll be starting a Master League in that quite soon. And the two teams I'm looking at are either Arsenal or Newcastle. But let me know what you guys think. I'll be talking to you guys soon. Peace.